is a very well diversified economy compared to any other GCC country. The government is working to reducing the dependency on oil and looking to improve the non-oil sectors. The government is focusing in diversifying the revenues and the economy and the contribution of the non-oil sectors into the GDP of the country. And with this vision, there will be more focus into the non-oil sectors and there is a lot of room to grow and accordingly, a lot of diversification on the banking sector towards these sectors. If you look at the banking sector in UE in general, we have witnessed during the past two, three years a lot of improvement in the financial indicators in terms of strong liquidity, capital of bank, very strong profitability and growth ratios. Islamic banking is growing at a very healthy rate. We are actually now almost 25% of the market and we will keep growing. People trust Islamic banking because it's always asset-backed banking and there are more security and has a lower risk than the conventional banking. Islamic banks market share is growing rapidly. The growth of Islamic bank is higher than compared to conventional bank. We are expecting that the market share of Islamic bank during the coming few years will grow. We are expecting by 22 would reach to 27 to 30% of the market share. So it's a very growing, very promising sector. The challenges of Islamic Bank is like any other bank. Islamic banks became now part of the financial sector. So the challenges that is facing Islamic Bank, it's the same challenges is facing the conventional bank. Islamic Bank offering now is very well diversified product portfolio that can cater for all the needs for the corporate and retail customer. The main opportunity comes from people who like to invest or get finance on a Sharia-based structure. But also now we are seeing a lot of even non-Sharia-based establishment or even country, they are happy to go with Islamic banking finance because of the vast liquidity which is available now in the market. Technology is a must and it's the way forward for banks. You have to invest in technology in order to survive, in order to compete, in order to protect your customer base, in order to gain new customers. You have to invest in technology. You have to meet the needs and the requirements and the demand of your retail customers as well as corporate customer, as well as the international. Banks are always changing with the technology. Technology is changing fast, that's why bank is changing fast. Sometimes banks, they cannot do a long-term strategy in technology because today we have something, tomorrow we have something else. Some of the banks now, they're trying to be proactive more than reactive. They're trying to bring the new technology before it comes in the market. So they try to invent and create technology which help banks serve its customers. You cannot avoid any deviation from the customer needs and requirements. So this will be a focus for banks into the coming short and medium term, which will make a lot of changes into the banking sector. Going towards digital banking, it's a must, not a choice by banks. It will improve the process of transaction. It will improve the experience of customers. Within the bank. It will improve the cost income ratio and the operating cost of bank, which will impact positively at the end in your bottom line and your profits in the bank. Digital banking is mainly driven by customers. But in order to grow as a strong financial institution, you have to be close to the customer needs and what the customer requires in the future. The future of banking is digital and you cannot ignore that. In order to gain market share, you have to invest in this technology. One of the strategies that banks are doing right now is diversification. Diversification came here in the market, especially when some of the sectors in the banking, like retail sectors, went a little bit down in 2008. Bank looked very seriously to find alternative sectors. UE banks are very dynamic, known to be very dynamic with the reaction to the market. The offering for SME is very important. Banks are always creating new products for the SME and the startup business. SME represent 90% of the total companies in UE, so you cannot avoid supporting and financing the SME sector. Banks has to understand the risk of SME and the startup and you need to address the risk. They need to look at the opportunities also in the same sector. There is a lot of benefits of supporting and financing 
SME and the startup, there is a lot of challenges that banks has to face as well. But again, if you look at the benefits, you're looking at profitability to improve their profitability and returns. Secondly, is to diversify the risk between different sectors and different companies, that it's also one of the aim and targets for banks. The SME and the startup is the backbone of any economy. And it's a good way of diversifying the risk into the financial sector. The growth of SME normally it requires cooperation with both government as well as the financial sector. Without the funding and the support of the financial sector, the startup will be very difficult. We are lucky in UAE that the country is having many upcoming events such as Expo 2020 and these are bringing many infrastructure financing opportunity to us and we are very happy to finance this infrastructure project because of our trust in our government. Banks will be able to support the growth of infrastructure sector which in return will impact positively in other sectors of corporate as well as retail segment and SME so in the short and medium term it looks very positive. We can see that business sentiment is changing, especially from the beginning of the year. We are seeing new companies opening, new buildings and new infrastructure, also government infrastructures happening. We're seeing a lot of mega projects, either in Sharjah or in UAE. So all these things translate that we are still in a very good path and the infrastructure and the businesses is flourishing and the economy is sustaining. We have in UAE a strong capital base. If you look at the capital base of UAE banks, the risk-weighted assets of the banking sector is improving. And if you look at the liquidity ratio of banks, banks are very liquid. Loans to deposit ratio is improving. So this will give a room to grow, but you have to stroke a balance between the regulations and the growth. The challenge for banks would be how to comply with all these regulations and international standards and at the same time grow your business and hunt opportunities to diversify in different sectors.